The lock that I installed on my trailer was the entrance door lock with deadbolt. I got it from Camping World and it was catalog item 70814 right there. And the reason I bought it from Camping World, I probably could have got a better price, but Camping World was within 30 miles of my house and we drove out one day to get it so I could get the door handle installed and get it done. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what I paid, but it was probably around the 142.99 that was here. I think I get a discount because I'm on the Good Sam's Club. So I don't think I quite paid that much, but it was close to that much. Here's the door handle installed already, as you can see. And so that's the, the final installation. Now I'll have to disassemble it and take it out to show you how it was assembled. And that's fine because I need to seal it, caulk it, and paint the inside trim anyway. This is the inside installation. And you can look and see that this door, this lock, is designed for a thicker door than mine. So my door is this thick, but the lock is designed for something a lot thicker. And I'll get to the measurements after I get everything disassembled and I will show you how wide things are. To disassemble it, it requires three Phillips screws. And no, it's just the three Phillips screws. One, two, and three. You take those out and the door handle comes out. You can see the outside assembly here and the inside assembly here, the three screws I took out, and you get deadbolt keys and you get regular keys and they are different keys. So this thing has two locks with two different keys on the outside. It also comes, there's your deadbolt part right here and this is the part that, that's your normal latch. Um, the way this attaches to a door is it doesn't screw directly to the door, it, it sandwiches. So this is on the inside and this is on the outside and it just squeezes, squeeze, comes together and squeezes together. However, like I said, mine door was too narrow for this assembly. Measuring the width of my door. My door measures actually three quarters of an inch wide originally. So my door is three quarter inch plywood originally, but this door the, the latch was too, it wanted a thicker door. So I cut a spacer also out of three quarter inch plywood to make this part right here. So it made the whole assembly right here an inch and a half wide. Right. I had to use a router and I routed out this rectangle hole, started on the door. And you can see one of my original bolt holes was right here for the original door latch and I covered it up. You can see the gasket covering it up right there. So it was also included in my assembly. My hole that I routed is almost five inches wide. Actually it is right at five inches wide and four and three quarter inches high. So that's five inches wide and three quarter inches wide. Uh, sorry, five inches wide and four and three quarter inches high. Now, I, in order to get all this to work out though, you can see here that I had to route this out. And so my original three quarter inch board plywood came out to here, but I had to route this out. This is probably about a quarter inch wide here so that this whole assembly would lay down in here and engage the original jam see here the holes I had to drill in for the deadbolt and for the latch and the original wall here. And so here you can see it from the inside and I'll pull it shut and you can see what I'm talking about. So I had to have the assembly that was going to hit those two holes that I had to cut in the uh, the uh, original wall there, All right? So it kind of recesses in there. 
And that routed out part, like I said, I routed it in about a half inch deep, maybe seven sixteenths inch deep. And that part is four inches tall. And it's close to evenly divided top to bottom. Oh, that's nice, I didn't notice that. All right, so um, that's the spacer I had to make. Now it's stuck on there right now because of the paint, because I painted with it on there and now it's stuck on with paint. But um, I think I had to make two of them because I probably made the one, the first one wrong and had to make a second one. And there you have it reinstalled and latched and hopefully this will work. I've still got the deadbolt hole pretty tight. Oh, there it goes. It works. Okay. Yeah, I got it pretty tight on purpose, but it locks with both the deadbolt and the regular lock. And uh, there it is. And you pull on the latch to open it up. And I'll give you one more look at the uh, inside. And you can see also uh, where I had to route out about the same amount of aluminum that I did wood. So I routed it all out at the same time. I made this pocket where this would fit in and engage the door jam. side of it. I really, I had some left over. I really like that stuff. And I'll trim it and make it all look pretty. 